We got our next comic who's going to make his way to the stage here. He was the fastest man in New Brunswick, Canada from 96 to 2001. Mike Romano! What's up, guys? I feel like you guys see me at this point. I'm the first to actually. Like, what is this, Little Boys Night tonight? Like, what did I sign up for? Glad the spring is finally here, though. I couldn't stand the winter. My nipples finally just hardened out today. Turned to their normal consistency. I enjoy the winter for the holidays, though. I like, I like visiting my grandparents, seeing my grandma. She's always. Every grandma is always amazed by how much you've grown. They're like, look at how he's grown, it's unbelievable. Like somehow grandmas miss the boat on this, that people grow. So they've got a magic trick to them. They're like, how did he do that? He grew so much. You brought him over as an infant, I thought that was it. He like morphed. He's, he's so tall and he plays the basketball. Everything's always the something or his or her something with grandparents. He plays the basketball, then he does his Nintendo. It makes, it makes everything sound so wholesome and precious. They could say anything. It could be like, my Michael, he worships the Satan, and then he does his crack. It sounds, it sounds so beautiful. I love, my, I love my grandma's voice. It's like an old lady doing an impression of an old lady. It's so, it's so sweet. <laughs> my, my grandfather, too. My grandma's great. He's getting old at this point. He's older than my grandma. Although, I guess, I don't know if it really matters for a couple at that age, if one of them is old. Maybe, maybe it does. Maybe an 87-year-old looks at an 82-year-old is like, damn, jailbait. <laughs> I'll have to wait and find out. <laughs> He's, gonna, he's reached this age, eventually you reach an age where your health conditions stop having names and it starts just being called being old. Like if a younger person can't pay attention, they're like, he has ADD. If an older person has trouble paying attention, they're like, oh, leave him alone, he has old. <laughs> or if they, if they can't hear, if a younger kid can't hear, the family learns sign language. If an older person can't hear, they're like, yell at him. <laughs> You can't, even, you can't even escape it in death. A younger person dies, they do an autopsy. An older person dies, they're like, how did he die? Old age. <laughs> I like visiting my family, though. Enjoy the family dinners at Christmas time. Everyone wants something different out of the dinner. Kids, like, does it have chocolate in it? Older people, does it have dietary fiber? Everyone in between, does it have booze? Give me at a bar. <laughs> uh, I enjoy enjoy the whole season. Enjoy Christmas Eve is the busiest time. Both my parents shop on Christmas Eve. My mom, my dad for the next day. My mom for Christmas three years from now. This is the most. This is a woman who's like opening presents in one hand and like on Amazon in the other. This is this is a woman who buys a calendar and marks down, flips to November, and marks down change garage door opener batteries. She's, she's very prepared. I enjoy, uh, I enjoy the whole, I enjoy the whole unwrapping. I actually like the unwrapping of presents in and of itself as an activity. So it really bothers me when I see, I don't understand people who don't actually rip the paper. They just like undo the tape and like undo your, I feel like they're analyzing my wrap job. They're like, huh, that corner could have been a little tighter. <laughs> I don't understand some of the presents people will give you. Some people will give you like McDonald's money. Why is, why is it acceptable to give someone McDonald's money and not just wrap up a hamburger? <laughs> At least you're saving them an exchange there. Most, most gifts now are like technological based computers and iPods and video game systems. I don't understand the people who are like, Waiting out in line to get these video game systems. They're such hardcore gamers. They'll wait outside Best Buy for like 10 hours. Like, but they must be bored standing in line that whole time. Like, what are they thinking? They must just be like, man, I've never been outside this long before. <laughs> they enjoy all the technology, though. You open it, you open something like a te technologically based on Christmas morning. It's like the best thing ever. This is the same thing that two years later you're like smacking it, like, come on, work, you stupid piece of crap blowing into it. We have no idea how to fix things once they break. We have to send them in. I don't think anyone knows how to fix this stuff. She's got a better joke. Well, 
wasn't it? I'll try and reenact it. I don't, I don't understand, uh, I don't think anyone knows how to fix this technology though. I think when you send it in for repairs, they're doing the same thing in the repair shop. They're just like hitting it, blowing into it. They're like, dude, that's like the two things, right? I tried the two things to fix it. Uh, the, whole, the whole Christmas season just moves out so fast though. It's like in and out. It, the turnover on the Christmas tree is absolutely unbelievable. Like one day we have this in the main room of our house. We're kneeling before it. There's an angel at the top of it. We're associating with God. The next week is out on the curb. There's like birds building a nest in it, waiting for the. If that's, if that's not bad enough, you're like looking out the window, like the trash man hasn't come take that away yet. What are the neighbors gonna think? I enjoy. It. I enjoy the winter season. Uh, so not as much as the weatherman probably does, though. It's very exciting for the the weatherman is very excited about weather. This is a man who has devoted his entire life to weather. I, I can never make that kind of leap to do that. Most of us just talk about weather. It's like mundane. It's like if it's an uncomfortable situation, trying to break the ice. You may be like, huh? How uh, about that cold front? But with the the weatherman, this is like the climax of human interaction to him. He's devoted his whole life to it. If the weatherman was in an elevator with a very beautiful woman, she tried to talk to him about the weather, he'd probably be like, whoa, easy, not so forward, okay? I barely know you. I can't be talking about cold fronts with you yet. He's, he's very excited, and he always wants to tell you that there's a record. There's always a record every winter. No matter what, they'll come up with a record. Warmest winter on record. Coldest winter on record. Most snow. Most rain. Most total precipitation. Even if it's not a record, if there was more precipitation 20 years ago, I'll say, most precipitation in 20 years. One year the weatherman staff's going to come up to him and tell him we, could, we couldn't come up with a, we couldn't come up with a record this year. He's going to be like, no record for the first time ever? Record? you are like, that's the stupidest record ever. Ever? Record? Like, I like that the weatherman gets to tell everything in percent chances. He gets to say, he can never be wrong. He's like, well, there's a 30% chance of rain and a 70% chance of anything else. I wish I had that in my life. Someone's like, Mike, can you do me a favor? I could be like, there's a 30% chance I'll do you a favor. There's a 70% chance I'm going to go watch college basketball. He is a teenager. He is a teenager. I'm 21. <laughs> I look like I'm seven. Especially with that haircut that I just got. It's like I got this like Jim Carrey and Dumb and Dumber thing going on. Second grader on the first day of school. Where's my lunchbox? Oh, thank you. I am adorable. Man. So I saw how pumped you guys were to talk about the Olympics with the last act. So I think I'm going to talk about it anyway. You guys, okay, you can at least relate to hockey. You got it. You, you're familiar with hockey here, right? Okay. I enjoy, I like hockey very much. It's unbelievable how much violence is tolerated in hockey to me. Like, what, what is the penalty for shooting someone? Is that like three or four minutes? Like, it's not, in, the, in, the, in the Olympics, they didn't want to have any fights, though. They had, like, refs constantly breaking it up. So it was like a middle school dance without enough chaperones. It's just out of control. Uh, I like I like all sports like hockey, basketball. They always sports like that always have like any time there's any break in the game, they have some event that has to go on. And now it's time for 50-50 raffle. <coughs> and now it's time for putt putt. They, they treat you like you have the worst case of ADD in the world. Like it's a 30 second timeout, and you're like, what am I doing here? And you're gonna walk out. And they're like, a gopher riding on a tricycle. And you're like, oh okay. <laughs> I enjoy it. There's always a record. There's always a record in uh, in a hockey too. They're, they always want to make you seem like you're watching the best thing ever, ever. This guy, he would love this hockey announcer would love the weatherman. They would be fantastic friends. They could talk about records all day long. I like I like hockey. I think when it comes to it though, Olympic sports. When I think Olympics, curling's got to be the best. Because when I think, I think the pinnacle of 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 physical achievement, and I think curling. Okay. Don't that this is not this is a sport where one of the most exciting parts is measuring. Which stone is okay? Measuring. Don't watch this if you have high blood pressure, okay? You're asking for it. I, I just don't I, I don't have a problem with the game. I just don't understand why it's in the Olympics. We might as well have shuffleboard in the Summer Olympics. A bunch of 70-year-old men in Florida would become Olympic athletes. It'd be fantastic to watch. 